Southwest 70th Avenue and 10th Street lined with police tape, lined with homicide detectives, lined with terrified residents. The body of what appears to be a female dumped just feet from Silvana Mayen's trailer. Did you hear anything at all last night? No. No. She was fully clothed, found face down with no identification. Police say there was no visible signs of trauma to the body. But there is physical evidence here? There is. They're, they're in the process now of uh, collecting that physical evidence. Police won't talk specific evidence. Residents that discovered the body described the woman as blonde in her mid-20s. A woman these residents say they've seen walking the Tamiami Trail. I always see her around four or five times, around four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Mario Alvarez telling police he saw this woman at three o'clock this morning when he came home from work. I saw this guy with this woman. I didn't know what they were doing. I went by without paying much attention. Gail Vicus' sister, Robin, is blonde in her 20s and used to work the streets. Today, Vicus hands police a picture of her sister, a sister that did not show up up to see her last night. I'm hoping it ain't. That's it. I'm just praying it's not. Lazaro Comisada, Elisa Martinez, Charity Nava, and Wanda Crawford, all prostitutes working the trail, all killed, then dumped in residential Southwest Dade. The scene today, very familiar to police. Is everything that's this whole scenario here match what you've seen four times before? Uh, there may be some similarities, but we really can't comment on the similarities at this point.